Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fonten. I'm the author of Heal Yourself, A Return to Wholeness, The Integration of Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in all three formats. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell. Scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame, romance, life, path, and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefontenauthor.com. This is a weekly twin flame tarot reading. Messages for divine feminine, divine masculine, and the couple. Today is Monday, February 15th, 2021. And this reading is good for all week. <laughs> this week we have Mercury stationing and going direct on February 20th, which is great. You know, communication should start to be a little bit smoother. How are you feeling twin flame this week? Let's just get an update. Let's get a read on what's happening. So as always, I like to say a prayer over the cards, dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, angels of God, twin flames, guardian angels. Let this reading be of the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance angels and twin flame angels, please help twin flames to understand the messages for this week. We're going to start with the divine feminines and we're going to get an angel tarot card. I've got the angel therapy cards and the world of answer cards this week. So divine feminines, guardian angels, what is the message for divine feminines for this week? And next we're going to pick from the angel therapy deck for the divine feminines first. And now we're going to pick from the World of Answer Oracle deck in order to get a better, clearer picture of the energy for this week for Divine Feminines. And now we're moving on to the Divine Masculines in this collective. Let's see what's happening in the Divine Masculine collective for this week as we move out of Mercury retrograde. Let's see what's happening. And angel therapy for DMs this week. Next, we're gonna get a world of answers. We're gonna get an answer for DMs. <laughs> Next, we're gonna move on to the couple. Let's go to the twin flame couple. So as these energies merge, angels, as the DM and the DF merge together, what is the energetic read for DM DF this week starting February 15th? And next, we're going to pick from Angel Therapy for the DM and DF together this week. The energy together, the togetherness energy. And a World of Answers Oracle. Let's pick from here. Let's see what comes out. And we are going to get a romance read. Romance read. For those of you booking individual readings, I've got some new decks for the individual readings. It's very fascinating, very exciting. I always like it when I get new decks because it's um, different information, right? It's, it's like when you do a reading, it's just pieces of a puzzle. So a reader just might get a few pieces of the entire picture, the entire puzzle. It's never the whole puzzle. It's always a little snippet. So romance angels for the twin flame couple. And we're gonna get messages of love, which either enhances or slightly changes the meaning of the original romance card that we get here. So romance angels for the twin flame couple, what's going on? And we are going to grab two messages from divine masculine to the divine feminine. What is going on, DM? What's going on in your heart space, DM? The divine masculine to the divine feminine, what is in the divine masculine's heart space this week. Let's see what's happening. Here we are. Okay, so let's start with the divine feminines. The divine feminines. We have got very, we've got ethereal energy happening for divine feminines this week, which is really kind of not surprising actually. We've got a lot of ascension energy. I feel in some way divine feminines this week are feeling very much 
in the higher realms this week. I mean, this Aquarian energy that's very air sign energy is a lot about air and ether, right? So the air and space energy, which really does take you into those higher levels. So that's really, really interesting. We've also got this um, renewal judgment card, which it is about ascending into the higher spiritual level, but it is a reevaluation of your life. It's a reevaluation of where you've been, where you are today, and where you wanna go into the future. So DFs, Divine Feminines, this week are really assessing relationships assessing what has worked in my relationships in my life, what has not worked, how do I want to change that moving into the future? How do I wanna shift it? How do I wanna change it? How do I want it to move up and outward rather than staying in perhaps lower based energies? Why do I say that? Because we've got ascended masters and imagine the possibilities. And look at all these colors here. Like look at the colors involved in ascended masters and imagine the possibilities. We've got the Aurora Borealis here. And then we've got all the chakra colors for the ascended masters. Now what are ascended masters? They are higher level enlightened spiritual beings for the most part that once walked the earth who have ascended into higher states of consciousness. And what this means, Divine Feminines, is that you have the power of the ascended masters coming down upon you so that you can take your life to a greater, higher level and not stay in past energy, not stay in the lower energies where you feel like you've been, and just repeating the same patterns in relationships, for example. After all, this is a relationship reading. But I feel that the Ascended Masters, whatever you resonate with, whether it's Jesus or whether it's Buddha, whether it is um, Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, whatever it is that you feel that you resonate the most with when it comes to the Ascended Masters, they're helping you to ascend, they're helping you to reach the outer limits of what is possible, which is really limitless. But if you feel too confined to this earth space or you feel like you've been confined by outdated patterns in relationships, you are certainly breaking away and breaking through and making a lot of decisions this week. Hey, this is what I'm willing to accept in relationships. This is not what I'm willing to accept in relationships. So DM, deal with it. That's really where uh, DF is. And is if we look, <laughs> yeah, I like this. If we are looking toward divine masculine and what they are <laughs> feeling, thinking, being as far as where they are now, and you know, they're coming out of this deeper uh, emotional energy from their past. It's funny because it, it kind of does mirror actually where divine feminines are because we've got this eight of water, which is about choosing a higher path, choosing a higher path for the divine masculine. They're choosing a higher path. This is more about emotions, however. When we look at eight of water, eight of cups, it's really more about their emotional life. So Divine Masculines this week may be choosing better emotions, better higher spiritual emotions rather than staying in guilt, shame, fear, or all of those lower emotional feelings that they have perhaps been feeling, but moving toward the more higher level emotions. And it's funny because we got manifestation power and yes, with fireworks over the Magic Kingdom castle, Cinderella's castle. So I really feel that this energy is taking them to higher levels. This energy is going to take them to higher heights. This energy is going to take them to more explosive growth and the ability to manifest better in their own lives and manifest this relationship that they've been desiring. What are the reasons? The reason is because they're gonna let go of those lower emotional energies that have been holding them down. Because when you're in these energies of guilt, shame, victimhood, blame, guilt, 
all of that, when you're in those lower vibrational energies, it's really tough to manifest. Manifestation comes with higher vibrational frequencies. But if DM has been in lower emotional vibrational frequencies, then manifestation is just not a picnic. It's not easy. It's an uphill battle. So I feel like this week, DM is going to choose those higher emotional energies and leave behind the lower energies. I'm going to pick another World of Answers card for the couple because this is not making sense. So <laughs> let's see what they have to say about the couple. I'm going to pick one more. We're going to get a clearer picture for the couple. Huh, this is really weird. As I mentioned, this is a relationship reading. However, I feel that for some reason, DMs and DFs this week collectively together are working on something other than love, emotions, and higher vibrations. They are also working on life path and purpose that includes finances and money and abundance. So that's interesting, huh? So the, the card that we got this week in tarot for the twin flame couple is the moon card. The moon card, which is about insecurities being revealed, shadows being revealed, secrets being revealed. What are those secrets about? I feel it's mostly about shadow energy dealing with root chakra issues like money, <laughs> money, abundance, finances, security, because we have, if you get nervous, focus on service. What is nervousness? It is fear energy. It's fear based energy. I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not talented enough. And what I feel that is happening here in the collective energy between DMs and DFs is not so much of, am I not good enough, strong enough, well enough to move forward in the relationship itself, but it's more like root chakra issues of money, finances, stability, home. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can swing this. And it could be due to the fact that uh, many people are still looking for jobs these days. Many people are still trying to start a business, maybe switching careers from being laid off from a job. Or maybe there has been a disruption in family life due to this twin flame connection where somebody got divorced, somebody left a spouse, whatever the case may be, but there is a big issue surrounding root chakra issues. Because the first one that came out was no. No, and I feel like that no is, um, what I'm hearing from that no is don't let it stop you. Don't let this nervousness stop you. Don't let the insecurity surrounding root chakra issues, don't let those things stop you. Because we have abundance and finances that came out after that. Abundance and finances. And what this is telling me is that Look, if you move forward, get over your nervousness, get over the fear, get over the trepidation about this new life. If you just focus on service, how can I help? How can I serve? It, it'll take care of itself. It doesn't mean because you are nervous, because you are fearful, because the moon can also represent fears, hidden fears, fears that are holding you back. It doesn't mean you stop because of those fears. It doesn't mean you stop because of those insecurities. It means that you keep going in spite of those insecurities, that abundance will come, the finances will happen, they will be balanced, the budget will be balanced, you will have the income that you desire things will work themselves out if you can just get over the fear-based energy, the nervousness energy. If you can trust that the universe will provide for you, things will move forward in the way of getting those basic needs met. I have a feeling that the reason is because people, so this could be the divine feminine or the divine masculine, people are leaving a codependent situation. People are leaving this codependent relationship from the past. 
that is what's causing all of this turmoil. That is what's causing this nervousness. That is what's causing this insecurity surrounding finances, money, abundance, home. <laughs> And so as the DM or DF, depending, it could be one or the other or both perhaps, leaving this codependent situation, they're very nervous on how am I gonna make a living? How am I going to provide for my children? How am I gonna provide for my new life with my new person? How am I going to make it? How am I gonna pay my bills? And the angels are saying to trust. You have to trust leaving this codependency, leaving this codependent situation. Now it could even be codependency in a job. How is a codependency in a job? For example, if you were in a toxic job situation and you left it, or you got laid off from that toxic job situation, but you had stayed in that toxic job situation because it provided the paycheck. You knew it wasn't healthy for you. You knew it was not providing you with the good vibes that you need in 40 hours of work week or more. You knew it wasn't good for you, but you stayed because it's a paycheck. And the angels are saying, look, the moves that you are about to make to get out of this negative energy, the moves that you're about to make to move forward, even if it's scary, even if it's something new, even if there is this uncertainty of will the universe provide for me? Will I be able to pay my bills? The angels are saying you have to trust it. You have to trust it. You have to trust the fact that getting out of a codependent situation, getting out of a crappy job that you hated anyway, you have to trust it, like trust it. And you have to trust in this twin flame connection because if spirit moved you to get out of a codependent relationship, in the example that you were married to someone who you knew wasn't a nice person or who abused you in some way, or it was just a, just a horrible, terrible situation, if spirit moved you to leave that situation, do you really think that spirit is gonna leave you hanging? like? No, you're not gonna be able to provide for yourself anymore? No, of course not. So you really, really need to trust in the universe that the universe will provide for you. If you're exiting a bad situation, the universe will provide for you. Just focus on service. How can I help? How can I serve others in the highest level way? Not self-sacrificing way, but in the highest level way and things will be fine. Things will be fine. It is okay to leave a bad situation. It's okay to leave a bad person. It's a, you know, they might not be a bad person, but it's a bad situation with a person. It's okay to leave a bad job. It's okay to leave a bad family member, for example. So you gotta trust that whatever big major changes you are making now, divine feminines, divine masculine, whatever major changes you're making right now, you gotta trust, the universe will provide. All right, messages from DM to DF. Look, I can't stop thinking about you and I couldn't let you get close to me. Okay guys, these two messages are coming from DM this week and it's interesting because I'm getting chills because DM is going to be exiting those more negative emotions, those negative feelings of, I couldn't let you get close to me, which is based on fear, which is based on past hurt, which is based on past guilt, shame, all of that, right? I really believe that many divine masculines are going to elect because eight of water is very much about electing to leave those negative emotions. Nobody's forcing them to do it. It's that they are going to do it on their own. They're gonna realize it's not really been serving me to stay in this negative energy. It's not been serving me to stay in this past hurt, in this past shame, in this past guilt, whatever it is. It hasn't been serving me. So I'm gonna make the decision to exit that and try for something new in, in the way of my emotional life. But that's why they couldn't let you get close to them, Divine Feminines, was because they were still in that negative emotional energy. So of course, if you're in the negative emotional energy, it's hard to let anybody get close to you. So they are thinking about it. <laughs> They're definitely thinking about you, Divine Feminines, and it looks like they will. It looks like they will. It's gonna be magical, I think. Cause we've got, you know, 
Cinderella's Castle, Magic Kingdom, <laughs> oh, which is a place I'm going to in about a week. It looks really, really good and cool energy this week. A lot about trust. I really feel like a lot of this is leaps of faith, leaps of faith all around, like leaps of faith from divine feminines for changing your past patterns and trusting that spirit is opening the way for you to do that. A trust for divine masculines, trusting that if I let go of these negative emotions from my past, will I be okay to manifest the future that I want? And trust in spirit, in God, in the universe that when I'm leaving a crappy situation behind, that God will provide for me. So a lot of trust going all around, but it looks good. It's, it's a very, this is all very much a spiritual energy because it's all about some things that are non-tangible. When the future is not tangible, when there's so much uncertainty, it can be really hard to take that leap, but take the leap anyway. Take the leap anyway. <laughs> So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell scroll to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin flames. And thank you for supporting this YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can also pledge your support on Patreon. www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fondon. And I will see you in the next video.